Okay, hey, I'm out on a morning ride before it gets too hot on a Monday. And I'm here on 4th Street beside, besides uh, my alma mater, Wayne Memorial High School. Sorry for the bright light there. And um, it's been a while since I explored this little side passage that would technically be the continuation of 4th Street down to the river uh, that they recently extended. It's gravel. I don't enjoy riding down gravel, but I will for the sake of this video. And of course, here we have the famous flats where uh, we used to come to toboggan down. But today we're gonna go parallel to the flats down to the river. They did install some kind of a fence system down here, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way of getting around it. So I'm thinking I should be able to go around it to the left or the right. Although it looks kind of, it looks a little tight. Should be able to manage. Let's try this way. We've got some invasive species here guarding the gates. Here, check these pickers out. I believe this is called a thistle. Thistles. Now I actually like the thistles. I think they're they're pretty. And um, I like the dichotomy between them being uh, attractive and bristly at the same time. But I'm gonna travel through here without getting prickled by them, hopefully. Okay, we're clear. So there's a lot of water flow that uh, travels, trickles down through here when uh, we've had some kind of torrential rains as we have had recently. And I'm gonna stick to the left where there's a little bit of shade and just glide down. It'll be rougher coming up because of the, the grade, which is different from the grade that I got while attending high school here. But it's kind of cool for them to uh, create this little street down to, down to the river. Oh, there's some uh, new graffiti since last time too. Let's check this out. I'm going to dismount. The, uh, we haven't had a lot of rain, so the levels of the river are a little bit lower. So this is the uh, trio of sanitary sewer covers and I would hope that this doesn't mean that there's some kind of sewer lines that are going to the river let's hope not got a little passageway here into the flats and everybody knows who went to Wayne High at least in my era this is where the the uh, the bad kids would come and get high and get in trouble and shit Let's get a little closer look at this uh, graffiti. A little uncertain about creeping down there. And uh, probably the grass and things probably wouldn't let me get a very good view anyway. So I'll be content from right about here. I think it says zip or lip. Whoever you are, zipper lip, you need to change your tag to where you can read it, unless you want it to be ambiguous to, as to whether it's zipper lip. Maybe it's zip lip. Got uh, clover, more thistles. Look how pickery that. Ow, ow. Ow. Here, I'm determined to get a better grip on it. Look how pickery that is. I like the thistles, but yeah, they are 
considered invasive species. These little wildflowers are cool. And yeah, when the, when the river floods, as it has recently, it goes all the way up into there. So it's still a little damp here. All this um, deadwood over here is stuff that floated up from the river when the, uh, the levels got really high. It's kind of cool. It's just piled up naturally. Human being did not pile that up. A beaver did not pile that, that, this dam up. That was the river itself. So this is a natural dam for that. I don't know, do you think water created that or did a critter create that? That's kind of neat. It's also kind of gross considering uh, the ants are making, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Big carpenter ants are chewing on this. I don't know if you can see this. A big old red spider. Nope, he was fr I scared him. He scampered away. But yeah, like all, all the garbage that's in this stuff, which was formerly in the river, is disconcerting. At least it's been nature removed it from the river. So I don't know, I, I may pick up the video on the other side. Which would be um, where the little uh, trail goes parallel to the river from uh, 2nd Street. Just to get a perspective from the other side for this, for the sake of this video. But yeah, you know, there's a gate up there. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here or not. It's wide open. If you came down to the flats, you could walk through. I don't, didn't see any, no trespassing warnings. So I'm assuming that we are welcome down here. Nice little getaway. There's some shade. Yeah, you know, like a nice place to relax and have lunch or something. I like it. I like the fact that I live in a place where there quiet little places that I've discovered that you can come and get some peace and quiet. So I'm uh, one street over on 2nd Street now, headed down the hill. People my age could remember when this 2nd Street bridge was not uh, very good. It had a big dip in it. And uh, if your parents were fun, they would drive over the dip fast and make you go airborne, which is why the park got the nickname t uh, by some people, Tickle Belly. Tickle Belly Bridge. Because it would give you that tickly feeling in your belly when you went airborne in the back seat. So it's really nice out today. So far, it's supposed to get up to uh, Upper 80s, but a little bit later, which isn't to my pleasing. There's the river, the mighty Rouge. And it, it ain't red. And I think I read somewhere where it got the name Rouge. And maybe it was red at some point in history when they named it. I'm not sure. And it wasn't French. Was this area settled by French pe French men, French women, French people? I don't think so. So here's Mill Trail Park. Nice little walkway. And um, I'm riding into the sun, so my apologies for any glare that the video might be getting. But um, they keep this nice and clean. And uh, it 
it's got to be a certain amount of maintenance because I see a lot of garbage dumped down here and things and homeless encampments and whatnot. And we're coming up to that the point uh, that oversees the um, the other side down there by the flats. The trail comes really close to the river right here. And uh, well, this goes up to the street uh, between uh, the apartment building and some of St. Mary's stuff. And as you can see, we have the, uh, the emergency broadcast thing up there. And one of these Saturdays when they test it out, I'm gonna be, I wanna be planted here or somewhere nearby so I can uh, capture it on video. Let's lean the bike right here. So what have people been doing down here? That is some kind of a uh, tool. And uh, they've been engaging in nuggets. Let's see if there's any remaining nuggets in there. Nope. But as you can see, there are rolling papers and some some rolling papers left. I'm not big, I'm not a big smoker, but they've even left remnants of nuggets in the bottom there. Huh. Well, enough of digging in the garbage. I'm trying to read this. Graffiti it says G U N T F U is here. I might be reading that wrong. So let's see if we can see the graffiti from that I was seeing from up top. Not a very good view. And I don't want to hold the camera too far out and drop it for God's sake. But uh, seeing some paw prints down there, I'm thinking um, what kind of animals would be down there? They're not deer prints, they're uh, claw-like things though. So what, badgers? Um, uh, what kind of animals would those be? Dragonfly, not gonna get much closer. I don't wanna fall in. If I really wanted to get a closer look at those, prints I would climb around through there through the uh, what is probably poison ivy or something and get a closer look but um, I'm not up for the task at least not today but yeah I'm curious about those prints what kind of animal that might be so I don't know let's see if there's a little passageway here and it's pretty obstructed. If I was in a better mood, I might consider trying to go through there. I don't know. Should I do it? There seems to be a little bit of a kind of a trail. And it's obstructed by a lot of uh, driftwood. But... If nothing else, it's, it's really nice and quiet down here. Different perspective. You just hear the, the babbling brook, little trickling of the waters. And uh, I'm assuming this is where, where that critter, whatever it was, came through. I don't know if I can make it through there or not. Oh!
Maybe there are some claw prints up top here, so I won't have to climb all the way down. But I want to get a closer look at it so that my viewers might be able to tell me if they recognize these prints. So I'm getting pretty close, closer than I thought I would get. And um, it's kind of muddy. So I don't want to get mired in it. So I'm taking it slow. There's a graffiti up close. Zip or lip or zip lip. A smaller one that says a lid. A little dragonfly. Let's see if I can get up close without startling them, just without falling in. I'm disturbing him. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get footage. So I know, are we getting a good view of these claw prints? Anybody recognize those? Because I don't. Oh. And now I've got to get back up the slope. So. I'm going to take this very slow and cautious. Whoops. Left leg is slipping. Oh. Okay, okay. Well, I'm glad I got a little bit of better footage from a different perspective. I took a little bit of a risk. So I joke with people that uh, if I ever come up missing, it's going to be the body will turn up in one of these kind of places. So yeah, the thistles, lots of clover down here. Check out the nice clover. What other kind of plant life do we see? There's some non-blossoming clover. Sure what these blossoms would be but they're they're nice Got some berries of some kind you see those and they seem to be sprouting from the uh, leaves the three the three patterned leaves that are like poison ivy I hope those are poison ivy berries that I just um, put my hands all over These uh, these white kind of blossoms Purple ones I don't recognize either but those are cool. I Think these are called Queen Anne's lace Not sure what these purple ones are called These red things again I'm no botanist, so I, I don't know what they're called. More Queen Anne's lace. So uh, it's really nice here in the shade. I kind of hate to get back on the bike and start riding through the sun. There's another part of the trail that I could follow, but maybe another time. And instead of going that way, I think I'm going to go up to Sims. So I'm on my way, I'm headed up to Sims. There's an interesting decal on the uh, post. It says Ghosts of Detroit Underground. 
with an inverted pentagram. So is that an occult, satanic type uh, symbol or not? You know, the pentagram, the five-pointed star, goes way back in history. It predates Judeo-Christian religion, so it could be argued that it doesn't necessarily have a satanic kind of uh, implication. You know, symbols such as the swastika, for example, uh, before the Third Reich uh, co-opted it, had um, different meanings. Hey, what's this? It looks like a chubby My Little Pony. Or something like that. Somebody lost a sock. So I'm going to mount the Raleigh once again. And make my way up the hill i got it in low gear to make the ascent a little bit easier i think those are are those morning, morning glories i guess i need to educate myself better on plant species I do subscribe to a uh, a YouTube channel from a, uh, a renegade botanist uh, I can't remember the name of it but he's he's pretty cool he's a ex-convict who spent his time uh, traveling around and exploring different uh, plant life here and there. So yeah, the emergency broadcast. This is a test. So which direction should we go? Should we go towards St. Mary's? Should we go towards the new chicken joint and Sims? Huh. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go a little deeper into Wayne. So, uh, let's go through the St. Mary's route. So I'm at the Step Resale thrift store and donation center. And I stopped here on my bike, um, thinking I'd look through their t-shirts and uh, let's see if they got some cargo shorts. I've had pretty good luck finding cargo shorts to fit me now that I have lost some weight. And uh, I found two antisocial t-shirts uh, of, of a light color. I ordinarily wear black, but um, when I'm riding bikes, I like to stay cool and I don't like the sun to burn me up. So, uh, also a high visibility backpack for my, for riding. The first antisocial t-shirt, as you can see, it says, if you can read this, you're too close. The second antisocial t-shirt is, nope. Not today. And uh, nice cargo shorts. Now the, um, the camouflage is important to me. I like to blend in. And stuff like this, although this khaki green, if I'm tattooing in them, ink splatters show up real badly. If I get an ink splatter on that, it's not gonna be as obvious, right? So hey, I wanna stuff those into my high visibility backpack and continue my bike ride. 